Good evening, everyone, and welcome to 13 on your sidelines. I'm Mike Lissett, and oh my goodness, look who it is. I'm Jamal Spencer, and I'm back. <laughs> we have an action-packed night for you, starting with our game of the week, Caledonia, looking for its first 3-0 start in nine years. First, though, they got to go through Granville. OK, Red Rivals clash at Ralph E. Myers Memorial Stadium, Caledonia, came out ready to take on the Bulldogs, and so did the student section with a Hawaiian shirt night. Wow. Good night for that. Fighting Scots fired the first shot. Junior quarterback Mason McKenzie leads the Scots, fakes the handoff, takes it down the middle himself from 35 yards out. Scots up 14-0. Say aloha. Granville had a slow start, but eventually they would get it going. Here's senior Ian Sanders with a handoff to Cade Pilsick for a quick score. But Caledonia had some answers. McKenzie kept firing right back. So again, he's going to take the ball up the middle, going down the sideline, gets a block there. He ran for three touchdowns on the night. Was he really that fast? Or Ooh, we sped that up? Sped that up okay, a little right, bit yeah. with the power of editing. Scott's were up 21-7 <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs fighting back. Sanders scrambles, finds Tyson Mann with a nice catch in the end zone. But the Bulldogs couldn't keep up with Caledonia. The Scots win it 23-14. Mason McKenzie has been playing like he's played all year, and, and he had a great game at quarterback leading us. Uh, I thought Brock Townsend ran the ball really hard. Our offensive line, I thought, was physical. And then the defense, just go back to the defense. I mean, to hold that team to 14 and, you know, what they did last week is really, really impressive, and I'm just really proud of our kids. Granville put up 50 last week, by the way. Scots are a perfect 3-0 for the first time since 2012. They face East Kentwood next week.